Hello everyone. Welcome to MS Active webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on enable or disable security defaults in Azure Active Directory. Security defaults help to protect your organization from identity related attacks by providing pre-configured security settings that Microsoft manages on behalf of your organization. These settings include enabling multi-factor authentication for all admins and user accounts. For most organizations, security default offer a good level of additional sign-in security. It is recommended using security defaults, but you can disable or enable these settings to fit your business needs. It is available for everyone and are enabled by default in Azure Active Directory. Using security defaults means that all users in your organization must register for multi-factor authentication. By default, users have 14 days to register for MFA by using Microsoft Authenticator app. After 14 days have passed, the user will not be able to sign in until they register for multi-factor authentication. To ensure that every user has ample time to register for MFA, the 14 days period is unique for each user. A user's 14 days period starts after their first successful sign-in. To enable or disable security defaults in your Azure Active Directory or to check to see if they are already enabled, sign in to the Azure Active Directory portal with Security Administrator, Conditional Access Administrator or Global Admins Credential. You can access Azure Active Directory portal using the URL https colon double slash aad.portal.azure.com On Dashboard, under Favorites, I'm going to click on Azure Active Directory. For this video, we are using the user account with Global Administrator rule. So we have sufficient permission to enable or disable security defaults. Under Manage, click on Properties. At the bottom of the property page, click on Manage Security Defaults link. In the right pane, you will see the Enable Security Defaults setting. If Yes is selected, then security defaults are already enabled and no further action is required. And that is our case. But suppose if you want to disable it, then toggle the value to No and choose the reason for disabling it. Here we can see, we love to understand why you are disabling security default so we can make improvement. Now the first reason is, my organization is using conditional access. I'll create a separate video on conditional access. But let's get an overview of conditional access here. Because if you want to use conditional access, then you need to disable security defaults. If your organization has complex security requirements or you need more granular control over security policies, then you should consider using conditional access instead of security defaults to achieve a similar or higher security posture. Conditional access lets you create and define policies that react to sign-in events and request additional actions before a user is granted access to an application or service. We will see how to create and apply conditional access policies in upcoming videos. At this moment, I'm just selecting this checkbox as a reason that my organization is using conditional access and that's why we are disabling security default. Let me click on save. We get the confirmation message that we have successfully disabled security defaults policy. So that concludes the video on how to enable or disable security defaults in Azure Active Directory. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.